Daddy, All right, I... so the videos didn't really work out too good sewing because I guess I ran out of space or something, but there's Chloe. James, look up. Hey, James. <laughs> We're going to go get a pallet and move some pots. We'll be back. If I start to get a following, if I start to get people watching and commenting and subscribing, I'll probably get some GoPro mounts or something. But uh, right now we'll do little short clips like this and stuff. Alright, we're going to go get us a pallet. Alright, so we came over here to load up these pots that we emptied earlier with the tractor and, and possibly mix up that pile. Y'all missed the cutest thing ever. The kids are over there. Climbing on this big pile of dirt. And I told them not to be climbing on it. Because here soon it's going to have poop in it. And they were like. Yuck. And I'm like yeah we're going to put chicken poop in there. And they were like no. And then I was like yeah. And then we're going to put cow poop in there. And they was like no. And I was like yeah that's how you make compost. And then they are like let's not make compost. They just don't know yet. Alright I'm out. All right, so we got, oh, I got some food in my beard. So we got some uh, dinner in us, and uh, we got around to working on these pallets a little bit, planters a little bit. See that? It's not moving. See that? It's not moving. This one moves. It's because we ain't got to it. We're fixing these empty planters on the pallet got several pallets. We're going to put these planters on the pallets so we can move them around with the forklift. We're going ahead and put screws in them now so we know they won't move. We can move them around when we need them. When they get full with soil, it's not going to matter too much, but for right now we're going to pop screws in them and it's going to make it easier when if we have to dump the soil out. Say we get a bunch of diseased plants in these pots, we can dump the soil and plants and all out and uh, start over, but we can still maintain our setup. So that's what we're doing. And just so we, there's some footage of me working. Because Lord forbid somebody kisses me and not working. Yeah. I don't think anybody's ever said I don't work. But here we go. We got that. I got my handy dander, handy dandy black and decker drill. And uh, these are just some little, oh. Little focus. They're just some old drywall screws. Nothing fancy, just what we had lying around. Hey, I'm still recording now. So that's six pots on that pallet. And I'm going to go ahead and lay out a few more and then call it good. I'll just lay out some more pots on this video and then stop recording so it's not a stupid long video for no reason. But...
All right, so that one will have five. Oh, I guess I could be in the video for a little bit, huh? So this one's going to be our big heirloom tomatoes. We're going to throw what's called black cream in here. And that one's going to be our cherry tomatoes, but it's going to be sun cherry tomatoes. So that's how we're doing it. Good morning. We're Sunday morning, and we're about to get our togethers together. Well, I got my togethers together to get started. I've had my coffee. I've done some paperwork, and now I'm gonna get and get some garlic ready to go. So I'm gonna readjust. I'm gonna stop this and readjust the camera, and get the garlic laid out for you. All right. So here we go. As you can see, I've already started on the garlic. These are cloves. Um, I do. I'm going to be planting them, planting some of them today and putting some of them aside, but we're going to be planting all of these um, so we can harvest some garlic this year. Those come from this. This is just your regular garlic. Um, this isn't from the grocery store. This is from stock that I grew before. Um, this is my second year growing garlic, or second time, not year growing garlic, and I, was, I really liked it. So we're going to get into it to get this into this you gotta start peeling it off so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna kind of put my the meaty part of my thumb right there on it press and slide and this it's kind of like peeling an onion you press and slide and boom we already got one right there add them to our pile and we're just gonna keep pressing and sliding oh we got another one right there So, and, and and it's just like the garlic you would you would buy at the grocery store and peel and eat, except instead of chopping those up and then putting them in food, we're gonna plant these in the garden. So looking at them, and then we go out there after we get done planting these. These are gonna go in a pot. We got we got three pots designated. Um, in my little garden planter, I had three plants per plot, per pot. Um, but I'm gonna try and squeeze some more in there. These these grow best when they're at least six inches apart. Um, eight inches is better, but I want to maximize my yield. I want to maximize the amount of garlic I get. So the more I can get down, the more I'll be able to get. Now, spaced apart, I'll have bigger, I'll have bigger um, bulbs of garlic, but bigger, but quantity of smaller bulbs, I'm thinking will give me more in in the grand scheme of things when I pull them out, harvest them, and weigh them. If I sow them for weight, or if I sow them per clove, I don't, I'm not sure. We're, we're gonna have to see how that works out. But I know this garlic tastes delicious. I've, we used it a lot. Mm -mm -mm. This is a soft neck variety. Um, California soft neck. I wanted to get some of them nice purple hard necks but I was unable to get, I'm, un, I'm not able to, get, I haven't been able to find them. Um, I looked online, there, and I'm probably just... Alright, so we're back, it's Sunday afternoon, stuff took a little longer, but you're supposed to take it easy on Sundays anyway, so it is what it is. I am saving my back and using my tractor to move my bag of potting soil, and we're going to head over here and plant some garlic. Um, I got my fine soil, I got my watering can, I got my cheat sticks in my pocket, I'll show you all that in a minute. And I got that tripod. Good job. I got that uh, pop house lifted up because we're going to use a lot of those. We're also going to get over there and, and do that um, mesh. But I'm so. I'm, I'm not in such a big hurry to finish up my uh, watershed project because we're going to have rain on next week, so I can't do concrete. So, we're also, 
I don't know if I have a video of it, but me and Chloe's going to go over to the cow fields over there and uh, scoop up some cow poop. Oh yeah, that's what I got done with my uh, pot projects. They're all on uh, pallets and we can move them around easily. So tomatoes can have full sun until the sun starts burning them up. Then I can go find, find them some shade to move to. I think that turned out great. I think that was a great idea. Alright, cutting off. All right, guys, so we're back. You saw me uh, fill up these pots full of pot and soil. Now we're going to start planting our garlic. Now we're going to plant our garlic three inches deep. Um, if we weren't going to mulch, we'd go deeper. But I'm going to put some mulch on, over top of this after I get some sprouts coming up. So if you look here, you'll see I have two sticks. All right? well, one's a pencil, one's a stick. This pencil, the kids messed up the eraser on it so I went ahead and cut the eraser off that is six inches I want my garlic to be six inches apart right but also want it three inches away from the sides so that stick I measured and, ch and chopped it it is three inches so three inches coincidentally is how deep we're going to be planting these so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get my head out of the way Hook me a three inch hole. Now you want to plant these, you want to do the pointy side up. And then cover them up. That's where that one is. So we're gonna go six inches. Hook us a three inch hole. One side up, cover them up. Oh, that's not gonna work. Yeah. This one's got a little bit of a sprout already going. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of overlap. Them being a little bit close together shouldn't bother a whole lot. Alright. I could probably find a way to get some more in here. But for right now, this is all I want in this pot. On my little garden planter thing online, it said I was going to have three per plot. So I got more than three in here, so as long I'm good on that. As long as I can do more than what my minimum is, I think I'll be all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and pile. Oh no, I won't pause it. I'll let y'all watch me water it in. So we're gonna give this thing a good deep watering. You really want these seeds to have a good amount of water. 
And so these pots already have holes in the bottom. Of course, it's got more since I uh, nailed in them. So we're going to really water these things really good. And I think that's good. I've got water coming out the bottom, so I might have overwatered a little bit, but that's why we got good well draining pot and soil. So there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out that other one. I'm not gonna let y'all watch me do it. That's just a waste of time. But there's that. All right, short update. Using this seed starter mat. I'm going to stop using it. See that temperature rising up? My hand's not touching the metal part. So my finger's not no 107 degrees. And the thing is, is this would be alright if it was on a thermostat cutting on and off, on and off. But it's just on. So I am now going to stop using it. Where am I? Well, find me a way to keep the temperature of the soil. And I can get the soil up to 70 degrees and be able to read it. That thing's a smart plug. I can turn it on and off from the smart plug. I'll just have to figure out how to regulate stuff. But... Yep, for now this thing's getting unplugged. Alright, so it's Sunday evening and I'm trying to put these videos together to upload. And uh, apparently my phone was running out of space because I started a lot of videos and ended up being super short. So, yep, not complete. But I got this, I got the space situation fixed so now I can put videos, but we had a productive weekend. Alright, see y'all later.